Hi guys, it's me again, Heber Samson, ang iyong guapong teacher. So, how was your week? How was your day? Kamusta kayo? Um, ayun lang. Uh, for today, uh, I'll be giving you some situational problems. Or, kumbaga ano, uh, at, ang gagawin natin for today is, para mas maintindihan ninyo kung paano natin ina-apply yung variance and standard deviation. So, of course, para masabi natin situational talaga and para makita natin yung application talaga, magkaroon tayo ng survey. So, I'll be asking some friends about their weight, kung ano yung timbang nila. And then, we'll be doing the, I'll be, ano, we'll be tallying and then we'll be doing the table. So, from x to p of x and then to solve for the variance and the standard deviation. So after that, let's interpret the uh, the solved variance and the standard deviation. So, ano na lang siguro? Uh, Magintay na lang muna kayo. I'm gonna ask my friends goodbyers. So I already have asked my friends, and these are the data gathered from asking their weights uh, in kilograms. So we have 51 kilograms, we have 48 kilograms, we have 56 kilograms, 51 kilograms, 67 kilograms, 51 kilograms, 56 kilograms, 48 kilograms, 67 kilograms, and another 67 kilograms. So, of course, okay lang naman na pare pare, merong mga pare pareho kasi alam naman sabi natin na blah, 67, 67 na nga si ganito. Siyempre, we are surveying, we are asking for their weight. So, ibig sabihin, okay lang kahit maulit yung binigay nilang weight. Kasi nga, weight nila yan eh. Alam na naman bago hinigyan, di ba? So now, let's see how are we going to put these data in the table. So, of course, for x, for x, what are the x? Of course, itong mga to. So, the first two, ano pinakamababa is 48. So, ang nilagay na lang natin is yung mga meron dito, instead of 48, 49, 50, 51, instead na gano'n. Kung ano na lang yung meron, kasi zero din naman yung nalabas doon. So 48, then next is 51. So we also have 56, and we have 67. So let's study it. Itatali natin yan, para makuha natin yung probability, probability later on. So for the tally kanya ng 48, we have 1, 2. So we have 2. For the 51, we have 1, we have 2, we have 3. Oh, so that's it, we have 3. For, the, uh, for 56 kilograms, we have 1, we have 2. So we have 2. And for 67 kilograms, we have 1, 2, and 3. So, we have 48 kilograms uh, na dalawa sila, 51 kilograms at sila, 56 kilograms dalawa sila, and 67 kilograms, <coughs> 67 kilograms tatlo rin sila. So now, frequency. Pag sinabi natin frequency, ilang ba yan? Pilan nyo na sa 48. Kasi itong tali ay ano lang to, nag ganun, -ganun lang tayo, nag line, -line lang tayo. For the frequency, ilan yung 48, so this is 2. Ilan yung 51, we have 3, and then we have 2, and then we have another 3. So now, the total is equal to 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, plus 2 is equal to 7, plus 3 is equal to 10. So we have 10. 10 lahat mo na tanungan ko. 10 lahat ng friends ko na tinanungan ko. So next is for the probability. How are we going to solve for the probability? So the, for the P of X, how are we going to solve for this? So simply, 2 divided by 10. So the frequency of 48 kilograms divided by the total sum. So that is 2 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.2. 3 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.3. 2 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.2. 3 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.3. So now we have the P over X. Anong next na gagawin natin dyan? 
So, of course, when we are solving for, when we are asked to solve for the variance and the standard deviation, we have to solve for the mean. And to solve for the mean, we have to multiply yung x natin with its probability. So, we have x, p of x. 48 multiplied by 0 0.2. 48 multiplied by 0 0.2 is equal to 9.2. 6. And then 51 multiplied by 0 0.3. 51 multiplied by 0 0.3 is equal to 15.3. Then 56 multiplied by 0 0.2 is equal to 11.2. 11.2. Then 67 multiplied by 0 0.3. This is equal to 20.1. So now, ano na yung mean natin? How are we going to solve for the mean? Yes. So we will just get this out of the xp of x. So we have 9.6 plus 15.3 plus 11.2 plus 20.1. And this is equal to 56.2. Therefore, yung mean natin, the mu is equal to 56.2. The next, so we are going to subtract yung value of x with its, uh, with the mean. So we have x minus mu. So ang x natin is 48 minus 56.2. This is equal to negative 8.2. 51 minus 56.2. This is equal to negative 5.2. 56 minus 56.2. This is equal to uh, negative 0 0.2. And 67 minus 56.2. This is equal to 10.8. 10.8. So now after we have uh, after we solve for the x minus mu, we are going to square this column. So x minus mu squared. x minus mu squared. Negative 8.2 squared is equal to 67.24. This is equal to 67.24. Tadana, we are going to square this. Negative 8.2 squared is equal to 67.24. Next is negative 5.2 squared this is equal to 27.04 and then negative 0 0.2 squared is equal to 0 0.04 and 10.8 squared is equal to 116.64 116.64 So ano yung next na gagawin natin dyan? So next is of course to Multiply your x minus mu squared with p of x. So we are going to multiply x minus mu squared with p of x. So we have x minus mu squared multiplied by p of x. Multiplied by p of x. So we have 67.24. Ito, 67.24, i-multiply natin sa P of X, which is equal to 0 0.2, and that is equal to 13.448. So we have 13.448. Next is 27.04 multiplied by 0 0.3. This is equal to 8.112. 8.112. And then, 0 0.04 multiplied by 0.2 is equal to 0 0.008, 0 0.008. And, 116.64 multiplied, multiplied by 0 0.3 is equal to 34.992. 34.992. So, now we have all the de uh, data needed to solve for the variance and the standard deviation. Lagyan lang muna natin ang ano. Box.
So we, we already have the data needed to solve for the variance and standard deviation. So, paano nga ulit natin isi-resolve yung variance? So now, given the data, paano natin isi-solve yung uh, variance? Ano yung gagawin natin? What are we going to solve? Kasi we already have this eh. So remember the formula is the summation of the quantity x minus mu squared multiplied by p of x. Therefore, for this column, we will just add all the data and then that will be the variance. Yun na yung magiging variance natin. That will be the variance given all the data gathered from all my friends I asked for their weight. So, again, we will just add yung x minus mu squared multiplied by p of x that is 13.448 plus 8.112 plus 0.008 plus 34.998 and this is equal to 56.8 56. So therefore, the variance is equal to 56.56. Ang variance natin ay 56.56. And to solve for the standard deviation, the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So 56. Uh, the square root of 56.56 is equal to 7.520. Six. So the variance is 7.5206. So to interpret the given standard deviation, we can say that uh, from the data gathered and from the standard deviation, which is equal to 7.526 uh, na alam naman natin that this is a large number, we can say that the data are somehow scattered. Uh, hindi naman siya sobrang scattered kasi as you can see, somehow naman, dikit-dikit pa rin siya. So we have 51 kilograms, we have 56 kilograms, we have... 48 kilograms and we have 67 kilograms. Somehow, scattered siya. Hindi siya yung dikit-dikit na 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Merong mga ganun. Uh, dito sa nag-gather natin na data, we have 51, at, uh, after that we have 56, and, uh, we have 48, we have 51, we have 56, and we have 67. From uh, the weights between those numbers, wala. That is based on my ano ha, based on my survey. So, yun lang. So again, the first thing is of course to have a survey. For example, we have uh, we are asked for a research and we are going to solve for the standard deviation. We just need to have a survey to ask of something kung ano yung kailangan nila, kailangan niyo, and then. You will be tallying that, for example, we have 48, 51, 56, and 67. These are the numbers from this, from the gathered data. So, ita tally nyo siya, and then I convert nyo siya or I transform it into a number frequency, and then solve for the probability. To solve for the probability, the frequency divided by the total number of the frequency. So, 2 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.2, 3 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.3. 2 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.2 and then 3 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.3 After that, you will just multiply the x and the p of x the x and the p of x so that uh, makukuha natin itong column na to. After that, x minus mu balance, i-add nyo lang lahat yan makukuha nyo yung mean and then x minus mu we have 48 minus the mean na nasolve natin After that, square nyo lang and then after yung square, kung ano yung mga numbers na lumabas dyan, sa square natin, multiply nyo lang sa probability. And then, makukuha nyo x minus mu squared multiplied by p of x. After that, i-add nyo lang lahat and then that will be the variance. 
So, pag nakuha nyo yung variance, kuha nyo lang yung square root that will be the standard deviation. So, ganun lang kadali ang pagsusolve ng variance and standard deviation. I hope that you understood the uh, the application of the variance and the standard deviation. So, do you have any questions? If meron kayong mga tanong, just comment it down below. I-comment nyo lang para ano. Ah, nagpapasa naman ako ng mga comments. And kung merong mga tanong doon, sasagutin ko naman. And of course, kung hindi naman masasagot yung tanong, true comments lang, I'll be, give, uh, I'll be doing a video to answer your questions ng mas malinaw. So that's it for this video. I hope you like the... Uh, I hope you learned and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification. Then, yun lang for today and goodbye. Peace and all good.